this is strict compliance from all barangay captains that they have to assist the Department of Health because the health of the citizens of this city is very important and vital. Okay, and we already have patients. The outbreak is there. Kasi nandiyan, I expected the end after five years. So we have, we have anticipated this. So are we prepared? You have years of preparation, but then what happened? Kasi we only found out five years after. So we found out that's why we don't have it here anymore. Now the kids are suffering. So as you can see, ages one to 10, these are minors. They don't deserve to suffer. Why prolong, why prolong the suffering of the kids when they should be in school? They're living a happy life. Ayo ba, pag kayo nakadengke, gusto nyo ba? Monday na lang. Diba? That's the kind of mentality I don't like. I don't like people just, oh, let's schedule it now. Huh? What? Health can't wait. The weather can't wait. It has a mind of its own. So yes, prevention is better than cure. So what do we do? The illness is already there. The disease is already there. The virus is already there. It's already there right in front of us. We cannot turn a blind eye on it. So we have to treat it. And while we treat it, we address we address the problem. And how do we do that? We start with all the other preventions. That way we stop the outbreak. So issue the memo within this hour, distribute it to the barangay captains, let the barangay captains do their job. They are the mayors of their barangay. I want them active. Because I'm active. I go home late hours. Too many things to deal with. Not even my problem. It's a city's problem. And I'm here to help. I don't have a problem. For real. Wala talaga akong problema. What I'm handling right now, all the problems that come across me is not my own. It's the cities, it's the citizens. And it pains me to see that our countrymen are suffering. Who would want that? What kind of governance would I have to lead if I let my citizens suffer? You're all here. You're government. You are government. We are the body of the government. We have an obligation to the people. So let's work. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Let's just start working. We can do it at night. We can do it 24-7. That's who we are. We represent the government. We're the one who's going to be working for the people. I think you lost track of that. Have you forgotten why you're here? Do you even remember why you are here? If you cannot function, I don't know why you're here. If you're not going to work, you're not going to help the people, you're not going to even contribute with the solution and be part of the solution of the problems that we have right now, then why are you here? If you can't do it, and you don't want to do it, you want to do something else, get out. I'll get someone else here who's actually going to work, who's actually going to help. So we do not delay. Because time is of the essence, the health of our citizens is at stake. Their lives are at stake. Just because we don't feel it, that we are not suffering ourselves with this disease, doesn't mean it's not there. So we act. We stop. Don't wait until it gets in your home. So who can issue the memo?
right now. You're drafting it? Deliver it to the companies. Let them, let them work. So once we do that, we start. That is the first step. No mañana habit. I hate it. Mañana is mañana, okay. So if you get sick and I do, oh, I'll help you next week. Is that the kind of Mary you want? You want immediate attention because our people need immediate attention. Why do we delay the help that we extend to them? It's too long. So we do it now. We act now. That's why we're here. The process here is too slow for me. Because the sick can't help, the dying can't help. They say, oh, don't die yet. Wait until uh, two weeks. Then we can release the financial assistance we're going to give you. That is. Can I say? It's BS. You want that? If you're the one that's asking for a financial assistance here, is that a kind of weight that you can do? You want that kind of weight? So what, ha what happened? They came back to me and they said, what? Oh, now we can do it in three days. <gasps> Hallelujah, you can do it in three days. Now you can extend their financial assistance and release it in three days. Good. So maybe now I can do it within the hour. Right? Same thing. So, no scheduling. We act now. Don't wait until, they, oh, because it's holiday to work. Nah. She's going to be working on Monday. I'm going to be working on Monday. Yeah. I'm going to be there in Lipa representing our city. Yours truly. I will represent a city at the Air Force, <coughs> Philippine Air Force. Uh, they only invited three mayors, and I'm one of them. And I'm very grateful for that kind of attention that they are giving us, acknowledging our city. So it's just all free, not for me. Sikat na naman ng lola mo. Sikat na naman ng siyudad mo. Huh? Yeah. Well, we have to respect the fact that our Muslim culture, you know, may mga Muslim po tayong kasama. Yun lang po ang kailangan. Because this is a sense of emergence. Dengue is a sense of emergence. So, it's not about what day it is, it's about immediate attention. So we give them the immediate attention. Let's do it. Okay? All right, thank you.